Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all my morning skincare routine. I actually did a skincare routine video like a few years ago. Um, and basically some things have definitely changed. I feel like my skin itself has changed quite a bit since turning 30. And so I've kind of switched up my products a little bit to kind of help with that. So yeah, um, if you guys are interested, then I definitely suggest that you please keep watching. Also be sure to subscribe if you are new here. I would love to have you join our family. We are on the road to 1000 subscribers and I'm so excited. So yeah, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell. And yeah, let's get into the video. I get a lot of questions from people all the time asking about my skincare like what do I use what do I do and honestly my skin has just been amazing as of lately like the last few months my skin has just been absolutely pretty good like I have had very few breakouts knock on wood and um, I've just been very pleased with the state of my skin um, I have noticed that it does have a little bit of texture um, to it, which I think is new in my 30s. But other than that, um, I'm really happy with the state of my skin. My pores are nice and small. They haven't been too big. And I don't know if that has something to do with the products that I've been using, but um, I definitely just think my skin is in a really good place right now. So with all that being said, uh, before I even get into my skincare, I always wear my little, um, headband thing so this is a bit of a I would say kind of like a more indulgent morning routine a morning skincare routine sometimes I don't do all of these steps sometimes I sub some of these steps for other things it just kind of depends on what I feel like my skin needs that day um, but since I'm working from home full time now because of everything that's going on I feel like I have more time to be a little bit more um, like intentional and really treat my skin well um, so I have wet in my face and I'm starting off with my cleanser so the cleanser that I've been using is this Kate Somerville gentle daily wash and I've really been loving this lately um, it's just nice and gentle um, it says it has botanicals it's sulfate free um, it's a gentle formula to help remove makeup and pore clogging oil while helping to maintain the skin's natural moisture barrier and I can definitely say that I feel like this does um, keep my skin feeling nice and moisturized like after I use it I don't feel like my skin is super dehydrated or anything like that most of the time I just use my hands work it in for about a minute um, if I want a little bit of a deeper cleanse then I'll go in with my Foreo Luna mini or my Clarisonic um, Mia 2 so yeah those are the two tools that I'll use from time to time if I just want like a deeper cleanse like a more exfoliating cleanse um, but I don't use them every day it just kind of depends My next step then is to go in with my toner. And right now I'm using the Pixi Glow Tonic. This is definitely hands down one of my favorite toners. Like it doesn't matter what I use after I use this, I can always come back to it and I know it's going to work. Usually I stick with Pixi or Clinique for my toners. Those are just my two favorites. Those are the ones that I have seen work best for my skin over the last few years. I'm using the toner on this like exfoliating, um, pad cotton pad just to give like an extra little um of exfoliating but yeah I love so after toner it's time to go in with my moisturizers so first I use a serum and I have been loving this serum this is the um ultra glow serum from sephora it's vitamin c and e and you're supposed to use this specifically in the morning um but yeah this is really great because it's supposed to be like brightening everyone talks about vitamin c um, serums and how good they are for your skin um and i love this one from sephora it's been really really good and it's only like 20 bucks so i definitely recommend that you guys pick this up if you are looking for a serum to try out but yeah i just kind of um Put it onto my skin like this. And some people pat their serums in, some people rub. I don't know, I don't really care too much. I just usually rub mine into my skin. Um, but it's up to you and however you prefer to do it. 
after I use my serum, that's when I go in with a moisturizer. And shout out to Twitter, because Twitter is definitely the ones who put me onto this moisturizer. It is actually from Trader Joe's of all places, but it's the Ultra Hydrating Gel Moisturizer with Aloe and Green Tea Extract. This is what it looks like. Super affordable. So there's pretty good um, ingredients in it. And yeah, I love it. It's super lightweight, but I find that it's really nice and hydrating on my skin. Plus the aloe and the green tea extract also are really nice and hydrating and soothing for your skin. So yeah, I've been obsessed with this moisturizer. Um, I really like it. And I do think that when I run out, I will probably purchase it again, um, just because I really have loved it. And I've seen like, good results in my skin like my skin has not had any issues with it so so after the serum and after the moisturizer I'm going to go in with my SPF um it's funny because I just really started using an SPF which I know is crazy you guys should definitely be using SPF but I really just started using it and so I reached out to Twitter to find out like should your SPF go before your moisturizers or after and basically everyone has said after so I'm using my SPF after everything so this is actually by the brand Black Girl Sunscreen and it is a moisturizing sunscreen lotion for your face and body it's SPF 30 um, and it's infused with jojoba and avocado the thing I like about it is that it's ultra sheer and there's no white residue that's it's a black owned company made specifically for black and brown women, which I love. That's why it's ultra sheer. A lot of other SPFs give you, give you that white like sort of cast. I used to use one from Sephora and I could tell that it would make my skin look kind of ashy. And listen, ain't nobody trying to be out here looking ashy. So I don't use a whole lot of SPF as you can tell. Um, I just use about that much. And then I just go in and rub it into my skin. I love it. As you can see, there's no white cast. I don't look ashy. I don't look dead. It just looks nice and fresh like my skin. And so that's why I highly recommend this. Um, it's $15 and you can get this at Target. Although a lot of times it's sold out at my Target. Like every time I go, I saw it and I was able to grab one. Um, So next I'm gonna go in with my eye cream and this is by Sephora again. I've really been loving this line of products from Sephora. So this is their um, Hyaluronic Acid Brightening Eye Cream. It's um, supposed to hydrate and de-puff and honestly, um, my eyes are not super puffy that often, but I do feel like I need the extra moisturizer underneath my eyes. And you'll notice like when I apply my serums and I apply my um, uh, moisturizer sunscreen, I don't put it underneath my eyes. I just kind of go around because yeah, I need a moisturizer specifically for underneath my eyes. I'm getting a little bit older. I'm trying to prevent crow's feet and other things like that. So I want that skin to stay nice and moisturized and youthful looking <laughs> for as long as possible. And I'm really just very gentle with it and I do um, put it on my eyelid as well. And then the last step of my skin care routine is that I have to go in with some type of moisturizer on my lips. I cannot leave the house with my lips looking ashy or sit in my house with my lips looking ashy since I'm not going anywhere. Um, so this is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask and this is in the apple lime scent or flavor or whatever you wanna call it. Um, I did repurchase this. I had the uh, berry scented one prior and I mean, I'll be honest, I do feel like Laneige is a little bit of an overhyped product. All right guys, so that is it for my skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will have all the products that I use linked in the description box below for you all. Yeah, and if you wanna see my nighttime skincare routine, just because there's a few different things that I use, I'm happy to do that for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.